Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and today we have launched a new update for the Feed Army script that originally was designed for tracking the conversions, the micro conversions and also the cart data for the cost of goods uh, feature that will come soon to Google Ads. Uh, and now we have also included Google Analytics tracking. So for those that want to upgrade from a previous version, version 1.07, I will show you the steps, what you need to do so that you don't have to install everything. For those that are not upgrading, just follow the steps for adding your uh, Google Analytics measurement ID, which will be later in the video. First, let's have a look at how everything looks. As you can see, uh, I am on my shopping cart and you can see in Google Analytics that I'm also on the shopping cart here. Most of you might want to view the debug view. Unfortunately, that does not work even if you enable the Google Tag Manager preview mode. That is because the preview mode does not work with pixels, which is in sandbox mode. Complain to Shopify, that is not something I can control. Now, what you can do, of course, as I indicated, you can view the real-time view. And so let's go, for example, from the cart to the checkout. And soon we will see a new page here pop up that will show checkout. And as we can see now, the checkout is added. It does take like maybe half a minute. Um, so there is a delay between the real time overview than what you click on the actual page. Now for the first step is to upgrade your script if you're using version 1.07 previously. Now if you want to upgrade from version 1.07 to 1.08 what we simply need to do is highlight the text from settings and all the way to the bottom and just copy this this allows you to keep all your settings without having to re-add anything again what we want to do is go to our Shopify account go to settings customer events and let's take an older version As we can see, this is version 1.07. All we have to do is just begin here, go all the way to the bottom. We can remove it so that we only have roughly 18 lines of code. And then you can paste the new updated code and then just click on save. If you are not upgrading, you don't have to do that. Just install the full code uh, and follow the instructions in the previous video. That is for version 1.07 and only follow the following steps for setting up the Google measurement ID for Google Analytics. So what we want to do then is basically import the file into, into Google Tag Manager. This is only required if you're using version 1.07. So what you want to do is go to admin, import container, choose your container, and in this case, what we want to do is download the file Feed Army Shopify Tracking version 1.08 upgrade from 1.07. And you can find that file on the website and just click on this one and then open, set to default workspace, select merge, and then just confirm. I will cancel it because it's already installed here. Now, what we want to do then is basically go to tags and this you can follow uh, for the ones that have installed the full uh, script in one go and followed the previous video. So now you can follow along with this video. So what we want to do is at the bottom, you can see Google Analytics for data and the page view. Here we want to go and click on it and change the measurement ID. So we click on here and what we want to do is go to Google Analytics, click on the admin, underneath data collection and modifications, we click on data streams. We select our stream and then here we can copy our measurement ID. So we go back to Google Tag Manager and we paste it here and then save. We do the same for the page view. Of course, it's already added from my case, but just paste it in, save. And then 
you want to submit your updates. So I just uh, give it a version name that I know what I've added and just click on publish. And that's it. So if you're um, new to uh, the Feed Army scripting and you want to also install all the conversion tracking and the micro conversions, please follow the previous video that I've created for version 1.07, which explains in detail all the steps that you need to do uh, for all these that I've highlighted now, which are eight tags. And then use this video to also add the final two for Google Analytics 4. If you have any questions, have difficulties or something does not work, feel free to reach out and I'm happy to help. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.